Hey there guys, this is Noelle McAdams, um, real estate agent here in the Denver metro area with Keller Williams Realty Success in Littleton. And I'm also a member of the Kristen Cole Network. We're a nationwide expansion team. Um, I just want to stop by today, a couple quick announcements, but then also I wanted to kind of launch in a little bit into this property tax issue that we're having. I've heard from so many of you this week. I know it's super stressful. I know you're overwhelmed by it. Um, and there's just been a ton of news stories as well. So I feel like it's just kind of front of mind and, and top of mind right now. And so this is really the time to, to deal with that if, if we're going to do anything. Um, so to begin with, Red Day is a week from tomorrow. Uh, May 11th is Red Day. Red Day every year, all the Keller Williams offices, they close down across the country and they do something good in their community. They, they make a, a difference in their community. Uh, it's always kind of a great feel good day. This year we're doing a food drive. I do have a list here of all the items that we're needing for the food drive. So if you have any interest in donating, please let me know. I can text you this list, I can email you this list, and then I would be happy to come pick up your donation next week and take it to the food drive that on Red Day. Um, let's see, the other thing is 72 sold. Man, I've been on a lot of listing appointments for it lately. It's very popular, it's a very unique um, program, very different from the way we traditionally list homes. So if you have interest in that or you wanna know more about that, please reach out to me. Finally, I've been in my broker classes this week. I'm getting my managing or employing broker license, which is really exciting for me, and it's been a really interesting process too. Um, so anyway, property tax. <laughs> you have probably heard all the news stories about how much our taxes are going up, and you know it's it's due to this amendment that went away, and you know, but the amendment went away in 2020, and and it just seems all very confusing. So I just wanted to explain. The Gallagher Amendment was repealed in 2020. It was started in 1982. And what the Gallagher Amendment stated was that the state could only collect 45% of their property tax from residential property. The rest of the other 55% had to come from other kinds of property, so commercial and, and things like that. Um, and so what happened was that through the years, as the number of homes increases increased and the prices increased, the counties came up with different ways and, and different um, valuation methods to like keep your property value on the lower end so they couldn't charge, you know, because they couldn't charge you more than would, what would make up for every residential property 45% of the total um, collected taxes. Well, that was repealed in 2020. And our values are reassessed every odd year. So in 2021, we were reassessed and it did go up that year. Um, but this time they are expecting the values to go up anywhere from 30 to 47% is the number I've heard in Douglas County. I live in Douglas County and I, and it's the highest one apparently. So, um, that means that you could see a property tax or, or property valuation increase of, you know, if your house was, was 300,000 before it's 450,000 now almost, right? So they are then taxing you on that much larger amount. The rate of tax has not changed. They can't change that. But what they're able to do now is go ahead and not keep that 45% cap on residential and go ahead and, and, and actually assess people more where they should be. Um, so what you're getting in the mail and what you, if you haven't gotten in the mail yet, you can look in the county site, um, is your increase in your value and what they're planning to tax you at. The bill you're receiving now is for next year. We pay our taxes in arrears, so you'll pay your tax next year. Um, however, if you look at it and you're just like, oh my gosh, this is a, I've, I've had people call me with a $300,000 increase, a $400,000 increase. These are big numbers. Um, and it really does impact the thousands of dollars you're gonna pay into tax for next year. Um, so if you feel like it's way off and it's way higher than you think your house is worth, please give me a call um, and I would be happy to see what comps I can pull to kind of prove your point to the county if you want to appeal that decision. My guess is we are going to see a whole lot of appeals this year because the um, <laughs> there's so many of these and it's the whole state. I mean, everyone is kind of going through this you know, different amounts in different states, but everybody's seeing these big jumps. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if in three or four weeks there's thousands of these appeals sitting on assessor desks. So if you have interest in me pulling comps and seeing if I can help you get that value down with the county so you're taxed on a lower amount, please let me know. Additionally, if you are buying property right now and you're not working with me, because if you're working with me, you know you're fine. I would take care of you. Um, however, if you're working with somebody else in buying property, you need to know that they need to make sure that in your contract, in your offer, the box regarding property tax that the seller pays ahead of time, they pay that, that prorated amount of tax for the amount they own the house in the year, they need to check the box that says that tax will be assessed on the most recent mill levy and valuation, not the one that says the seller will pay the amount from last year. It's just, <laughs> normally it wouldn't maybe make that much of a difference, but when you see a 47% increase, that means that that seller is paying a prorated amount based on a value that could be 47% lower than you're going to pay coming up. So make sure that that box is checked. So make sure and talk to your agent about that if you're in another area of the state or um, if you're working with somebody else, please. I just want you to be taken care of. I don't want you to come next year and be like, oh, not only do I have to pay this big property tax, however, now on top of it, <laughs> I have to, um, you know, pay the seller's amount that he should have paid or they should have paid, and now they're not going to have to because that's not how my contract was written. So take care with that okay hope everybody's well um and i'm available to you if you have questions please reach out thanks bye-bye